Rotating planes and objects in Google SketchUp is fairly simple. To get a better understanding of this, make a rectangle and change its dimensions to 3D by using the Push-Pull tool. Select the Rotate tool from the Tool panel or by going to the Tool menu. The keyboard shortcut for this is Q. The protractor that emerges by the selection of the Rotate tool also snaps to an axis. This is shown by the change of its color. Whichever axis it snaps to, its color changes accordingly. Once you choose this tool, you can rotate planes separately or the whole object combined. To move a single plane, select it with the Rotate tool. The way to go about this tool is to click and select the portion you want to rotate, then turn the protractor to the angle you want to shift the object to and click again. Once you do this, the plane will now rotate according to the angle you specified. To change the angle of the complete object, first select it by means of the Select tool. Next, specify the angle from the Rotate tool as you did earlier and shift the object accordingly. Google SketchUp also allows you to scale different illustrations as well. For this, go to the Tool menu and choose the Scale option. Now when you click the object, grip points appear on it. You can use these grip points to alter the illustration. You can modify the shape diagonally, vertically, or horizontally. To increase or decrease the size proportionately, keep pressing down the Shift key and change it by using the grip points. Right now, when you alter the size, it either moves towards or away from the current points. To shift this point to the center, keep pressing the Control key, and now the size is modified, keeping the center as the pivot point rather than the corners. Both of these tools are helpful while working with objects in Google SketchUp.